Welcome to our tutorial series on how to build using decentralized cloud storage. Today, we're going to be discussing decentralized website hosting and deployment through Polkadot files. And if you have any questions at the end, please remember to message us in our Telegram groups or discords, and we'll be happy to help you there. Now I'm going to pass it off to Luke, who is our CTO at Crest Network to do the demo. Hey guys, uh, nice to meet you all. I'm Luke. Uh, thanks, UI, for the introduction. Uh, this whole series, uh, we, we, we just want to give you guys a very, very simple uh, tutorial about uh, how to use Crust, like for the dApp hosting, for the NFT metadata storage, for the uh, social data storage, and also including like the general data storage or encrypted like data storage. So uh, it, it will be like super fun and cool journey with you guys. And today I will give you the first episode to teach you step-by-step like step how to host a very simple website into Crust Network, like the Uniswap and Arvidus. So without further ado, let's get to into this today's tutorial. So uh, first of all, I just want to introduce you guys like how many ways to uh, deploying your website or like hosting your dApp. So you can go to the wiki.crust.network and you can check the builder's portal, this article, and you can see all the methods to hosting the website into Crust Network. Uh, for example, like you just use the Crust Storage API directly or using the native IPFS native ways to host the website with the standard like IPFS gateway and standard IPFS pinning service, which provided by, by Crust Network, by DCF and other storage providers in the Crust ecosystem. And also you can use the Crust JS SDK like the Polkadot apps does. And also if you are from like the other ecosystem like beyond or like outside the Polkadot ecosystem, you can use Crust's cross-chain storage solutions API, like the Ethereum, you're from Ethereum, you're from like Solana, Near, or Polygon. You can use the Crust, uh, Crust cross-chain storage solution. So, and other ways, including like the GitHub action, like uh, I will show you in the end of this like tutorial. Uh, anyway, you can check all of the things and methods in the builder's portal into the wiki.crust.network. So uh, next, I will give you a very brief demo. It's very, very simple using the React and also uh, the poke to the files. That's also like one of our hosting solutions. The poke to the files is like we created for the whole poke to the ecosystem projects and also the substrate projects, which means uh, any of the substrate projects who can just host hosted their like website in the 100% decentralized way with cross network without any restriction. Most importantly, like without payment, like the whole process is free. So uh, I will just create, the first step is like, I will use to create a React app to create a, 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 a like brand new React, React app. So I will name into like Crust uh, Seminar. S1, E1, with today's date. Okay, let's just wait a second. Okay, now we are created the brand new React app. So next I will edit this one with, uh, I don't know, some like specific characters to mark this website into a super unique one. Okay, I will just open this project and drag into the Visual Studio. Then I will just edit the app.js. Let me just, you know. Okay, so like Crust Seminars 2022 Seminars uh, 
season one, episode one by uh Luke. Uh, and I would just tag this to uh tag 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 the date. Okay. Okay. So now now we're like uh. Like this, this whole website is like the the whole unique one in the world, with some specific weird uh, tags or characters. So next, I will just uh, build this whole uh, 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 React app into a static, pure uh, a front end website. So I will just use this one. Yeah, build. Okay, now it's done. So after we build the whole, like the unique, like front end website into the static one, and you can see there is a new subfolder named build under your project. So the next step, I will just upload this build folder into trust network by using the poke the files. So let me show you, that's really cool. The poke dot files page is under the poke dot apps. So yeah, so here it is. So you can just open the poke dot files in the poke dot apps directly. So there is a tons of like like parallel chains or other like substrate projects. You can just using this one. For example, I use the poke dot apps as an example, but you can just use it like for example Kusama as an example. Let me just show you guys. That's so cool because like it covers like tons of the parachain or like substrate projects. It's also under the developers. So next I would just drag, I would just upload the build folder, you know, we just created by, uh, by us. So uh, it's under this side and the demo, this one. This build folder. So you can upload it by just, uh, you know, sign a transaction without any payment. You can see there, there's like a zero KSM token under my test, you know, account. So it's really simple. Yeah, you know, that's it. This is the this is the website we just created. And now it's IPFS and being on crust. So uh this two step, we just, you know, we 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 build a cross cross storage storage uh solution under the whole Polkadot ecosystem to merge these two steps. And uh, all you need to do, like for the users and developers, is like you just click or just sign a transaction before you upload your folders, you upload your front end website. So now you can visit your website by, I will just show you. Now, this is the, the front end website we just created. Okay, uh, and you know, you know guys, the more cool stuff for the whole stuff is like, you can also check your storage status in Crust Network. It's like you can check how many storage providers behind the crust store your website, store your data for you. Like how I will just show you the final step, like check the status, copy the file CID, which produced from the IPFS and click the view status in crust button. They just passed, passed it and you can see, okay, so for now the status is waiting but you can check the history, like orders created by me. Like in average, there could be like 70, 40, 60 storage providers, the real machine, like, you know, store data for you. That's the magic part. So yeah, so that's the end of today's demo and hope you like it. And you can see that's, that's very, very simple, right? And just, you know, use Crust 
use Polkadot files, use other ways to host your website, make your website decentralized right now. So that's all about this demo. Okay, so, you know, this is this is just a demo, but, uh, you know, for the next, like for the next step, if you want to host in your website or like make your website continuously decentralized hosting to trust, no worries. Like we also provided the GitHub actions for you to integrate in your production level. I would just use like Uniswap as an example, you know, to show you how Uni hosted the website with cross network. So this is the Uniswap and this is the interface. And you can see just under the .github folder, there is a like, like, like workflows and you just check the release, the YAML. And you can see uh, like this step is how you need use Crust to ping their website, like this website. This one. So this one, this whole website is a production level of Uniswap. And this is how Uniswap hosted their site into Crust and IPFS. You know, you can just use the same Crust actions and it's totally free. All you need to do is like, you created a create, you know, Crust account in the Crust mainnet. You can just create it here. I'll just show you very briefly. Okay, quickly. And you can just add account and copy this seeds and config the seeds into your GitHub repo. So that's all. And make all the things automatically hosted in the totally decentralized way. So that's the production level hosting solution provided by Crust Network. Okay, so that's all about today's uh, tutorial, or I will call it into like similar. Uh, drop the question if you got one, and uh, uh, what what else you want Crust, you know, or, or other Crust community members to do it for you, just drop it as well. Uh, so that's all. Thank you so much for today, and thank you so much for the watching.